What if QB resurrects in Boruto and Himawari gets him? How would the story of Boruto continue in such a scenario? The resurrection of QB and its subsequent bonding with Boruto and Himawari would introduce a fascinating twist to the Boruto storyline, with immense potential for exploration. Himawari, a young and relatively inexperienced ninja, is the ideal host for QB. Well, I found three different theories about how the story could continue if QB resurrects and Himawari gets him. In the first theory, Himawari might succumb to the mighty Ninetales, QB, and lose her own identity. You see, QB is a powerful beast, powerful enough to take control of its host. It has also been shown in the Naruto anime and manga that there are instances where QB attempts to take full control over its previous host, Naruto Uzumaki. This often occurs when Naruto experiences extreme emotions, leading to the release of Ninetales Chakra. One noticeable instance is during Naruto's battle with Sasuke at the Valley of the End, where QB's influence becomes particularly strong. As Naruto uses more of the Ninetales Chakra, the seal keeping the Biju inside him starts to weaken, allowing Kurama's influence over Naruto's mind to grow stronger, which also damages Naruto's body in the process. But QB could never take complete control over Naruto, maybe because of Naruto's strong will and determination, or something else. But do we have a similar case with Himawari? Himawari, being young and potentially less equipped to handle such a powerful force, could be more susceptible to QB's influence. The Ninetales is known for its immense chakra and manipulative abilities. And don't forget, it has a history of influencing its previous Jin Churiki with negative emotions and even tried taking control over them. Initially overwhelmed by QB's immense chakra, Himawari might struggle with its uncontrollable rage and power. Her gentle nature conflicts with the ferocity of the Ninetales, leading to internal turmoil. So as for this theory, Himawari would ultimately succumb to QB's power and might lose touch with her own personality and become more like the Ninetales. Even though it is a possibility, it's still not something we'd like to see happening in the anime. Well, that's only one of the three theories. Let's move on to the next one. In the second theory, both QB and Himawari could live together in harmony, maintaining both their individualities. According to this theory, QB's relationship with Himawari could be a harmonious one. This development would provide an opportunity for QB to reflect on its past actions and its evolving role in the world. The bond between Himawari and QB could evolve into a complex, mutually beneficial partnership, challenging the traditional view of tailed beasts as mere tools or threats. QB, the nine tailed fox demon, has a long and complex history in the shinobi world, feared for its immense power. QB was sought out by many for its strength in battle. But QB has also been hated and rejected throughout the ages for the devastation it could bring. Sealed within Naruto Uzumaki for much of his life, their relationship was antagonistic at first, with Naruto only seeing QB as a source of power. However, later in the story, we witnessed that Naruto and QB developed a mutual understanding and respect for each other. QB even entrusted Naruto with its power willingly during the Fourth Great Ninja War, showing the evolution in their dynamic. These events lead us to believe that QB could live in harmony with its host. Now, with Naruto's daughter Himawari demonstrating an early affinity for QB, their bond may reach an unprecedented level of cooperation and peace. Unlike her father initially, Himawari does not view QB with fear or resentment. Her innocence allows her to approach QB without prejudice, offering it acceptance rather than seeing it as just a weapon. QB could also reciprocate this gentle affection, letting its guard down around Himawari. If QB chooses to nurture this relationship with Himawari, it could mark a profound shift for the tailed beast. Rather than being used by others for its power, QB may wish to use its strength to protect this young child by becoming her ally. In Himawari, QB may find the chance to rediscover parts of itself, creativity, playfulness, and love, beyond just rage and destruction. Likewise, Himawari stands to gain greatly from this connection. As she grows and trains as a ninja, QB's guidance could help her surpass even her father's accomplishments. QB's centuries of knowledge and experience are invaluable assets, and it may take a special interest in seeing the full extent of this child's potential. Importantly, this relationship need not be one-sided exploitation. Himawari can give QB the gift of acceptance, warmth, and understanding it has never truly experienced from a human. This interdependence can strengthen their bond beyond that of beast and host, or weapon and master. If nurtured properly, Himawari and QB could develop an extraordinary friendship that helps both to flourish. Their mutual affection and support could be a stabilizing, humanizing force for the tailed beast. And QB's power and wisdom may propel young Himawari to greatness as a ninja. This theory marks a potential turning point, not just for QB, but for the relations between tailed beasts and humans in general. 
if QB can find camaraderie with Himawari, rather than being viewed as a scourge or tool, perhaps other tailed beasts can find acceptance as well. They may no longer be hated but seen as allies. Much depends on whether QB ultimately chooses reconciliation or belligerence moving forward. But the seeds of a new paradigm have been planted. Though it has brought pain, QB may now rediscover its capacity for creation and nurturing. And Himawari, full of possibility, may help QB find redemption. Their bond could dispel the darkness haunting QB's past and illuminate a new path of cooperation, balance, and harmony with humanity. Now this is something I'd like to see happen, peace and harmony. But what about the power mongers? Will they let the peace prosper or will they try to take advantage of QB's resurrection in their favor? This is where theory number three starts. This theory suggests that if QB gets resurrected and Himawari gets him, it might bring external threats and internal conflicts. When the word of the resurrection of the mighty nine-tailed fox spreads, it might invite some unwanted guests. As per this theory, the resurrection of the QB may also attract danger and adversity. QB's renewed presence could act like a beacon, drawing covetous forces seeking its power. While QB and Himawari's relationship begins harmoniously, external threats and internal discord may emerge to test the limits of their bond. Most notably, the return of the legendary Nine-Tailed Fox could catch the attention of whatever remains of the Akatsuki, or inspire the rise of a new organization with similar goals. As the Akatsuki previously sought to capture all tailed beasts and exploit their power, this hypothetical new group may also view QB as a valuable prize. They could come to see Himawari as merely a vessel to be broken to attain the beast within. To protect QB, Himawari may be forced to go on the run, evading persistent capture attempts. Her brother Boruto would likely join her in hiding, and together they may unlock new abilities to elude or defeat their pursuers. The harsh training and constant uncertainty of living as fugitives could put immense strain on the siblings, challenging their dedication to each other and the village. But it may also produce the next generation of elite ninja, ready to surpass the previous one. While external factions want to extract QB from Himawari, tensions within Konoha could further complicate matters. Despite Naruto's leadership and the progress made, prejudice against Jinchuriki may still fester underneath the surface. The fox demon that once brought Konoha to ruin, being revived within the Hokage's daughter, could provoke mixed reactions. Some may fear Himawari becoming the next unstable Jinchuriki, and demand her isolation or exile. Himawari and QB may also have to contend with exploitation attempts from within the village. Elders or hardliners may argue that Konoha needs the power of a Jinchuriki under its control. This could lead to efforts to make Himawari into a living weapon for Konoha, trying to undermine the agency and independence she and QB enjoy. Navigating these complex tensions between duty to the village and her personal development with grace and wisdom beyond her years may fall upon young Himawari's shoulders. How she responds and asserts herself in the face of this adversity could determine whether she's accepted as the leader of a new era or feared as an uncontrolled relic of the past. And through this crucible of challenges, QB may begin questioning its own values and motivations. Does it try to protect Himawari at all costs, or will a ghost of its hateful past against Konoha re-emerge? Its role as either a guardian demon or a child's confidant hangs in the balance. I would love to see Himawari and QB ultimately overcoming external pursuers, and internal strife could represent the dawn of a new age. So nobody sees tailed beasts as solely threats or tools. With perseverance and compassion on both sides, human and tailed beasts may at last reconcile a painful history. Past betrayals and bloodshed would give way to cooperation, wisdom, and lasting peace, but the path leading to that enlightened future remains fraught with obstacles. Himawari's mettle and Kyuubi's allegiances will be tested over and over again. Their choices and willpower will ripple through the shinobi world. By weathering inevitable challenges together, the pair could steer the course toward understanding over enmity. Their bond will shape not just their own destinies, but the destiny of their people. So these are some possibilities of how the story could continue in case QB gets resurrected and Himawari gets him. But what events could possibly cause QB's resurrection? Well, that's the topic for this other video. Check out this video here. Go ahead, click on it.